guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and today I'm going to share with you what is going in my twin daughter's Easter baskets. So their names are Rose and Pearl and they are nine turning 10 in November. They do have a lot of similar items. So hopefully this isn't too super long, but I do have four children in total and I figured just to make this video a little on the shorter side, I would split it up two and two. So tomorrow you guys should be seeing what is in the other two kiddos baskets. So since they do have a lot of similarities, I'm also going to be sharing what like some of the extra food or goodies, snacks, that kind of thing that is going in all four of them. They are all four getting a lot of the same like candy snacky items. So these baskets I've only been using for, I wanted to say just last year, but I think I got them the year before. So two years, so this will be our third year. I picked them up from Target. I don't know if they have them again this year, but they are just the plain wicker baskets. And then I did order each of my kids a cute little wooden tag off of jane.com. There's a ton of them on Etsy as well. I just happened to see them on Jane. So we've got Rose here with the little bunny. They all have the pink nose, but I had her name in green just to make it stand, make them stand out a little more so they could see. And then here is Pearls and her name is in the pink. So since I typically, when I do these videos, I start like oldest to youngest, I'm gonna do youngest to oldest this time. That's why I'm sharing the girls first. And since Pearl is one minute younger than Rose, I'm gonna go ahead and start with her basket. So first up, I found this at a store called Learning Express and there's 32 sheets of stickers in here. It says over 1,500. And I don't know about your kids, but mine are very, very into stickers right now. Um, putting them on water bottles and their Chromebooks, which they use for like homework and stuff at home, and really anything like furniture, all the things, their walls. It's just sticker palooza right now. So I found this and because it's so big, I did split it up between both of the girls. So in pearls and once I start putting their baskets together, I might like open this up and leave them like just in the sheets. But for now, I'm going to keep it in this little plastic pocket little thing. Um, but I'm glad that they separated it into the two. It's going to make it super easy for me to put one in each of their baskets. I do have a couple outfits. So the first one I actually picked up from the BX, which is a base exchange. I do live in the San Antonio, Texas area. So these items I found at the Lackland Air Force Base. And both of my parents are retired military. I don't shop on base that often, but I did get a chance to go recently and they had some really cute summer items. So I picked up these shorts for Pearl. I love that they rarely find them that are longer nowadays. They're all super, super short. So I try to just do the best that I can. Living in Texas, they have to wear shorts. Like it's just too hot here, but I did love these. So I went ahead and got this jean pair of shorts and they have little white hearts all over them. And then to go with it, I thought this was kind of cool. It is a white shirt, so we'll see how long it stays clean, but it says Girl Power Squad, and it's pretty glittery. The letters are pretty glittery, but what caught my eye, and I might detach this, I'm not sure. It just depends once I put their baskets together, how it fits in there, but I think they're gonna get a kick out of this. So they do have a couple apps on their phone, and this is a mobile gaming controller and a joystick. I thought that was really cool. Um, it's for the Android and the Apple phones. Extends, expands to fit screens up to seven inches. They all have like a smaller phone. It says comfortable and lightweight. Hopefully it works. I thought it was cool and I think the girls will be excited to see it. Next outfit also from the base and this one is a dress. I love the pretty spring colors in it. It is super soft and it actually comes with a necklace. Is it pulled out? Mm, you can't see it 
that well but it's just a little silver flower and it also comes with two scrunchies so i thought that was cool i am going to as i fill the basket take all the tags off and all of that just to make everything fit better i just haven't done that yet but i will go ahead and try to put their baskets together real quick and show you guys how they look at the end all right last outfit another pair of shorts these ones seem a little longer as well um, definitely not as long as the other ones but these actually came from Walmart they are Levi Strauss just a little bit of distressing on the front nice and plain in the back I like the little raw hemmed I mean it is hemmed but it's got a little bit of a raw edge right there I think she will like that and then to go with it I, I thought this top was super cute again from Walmart I like the tie-dye and she doesn't have a top like this in her closet so it's got the collar it has a cuffed sleeve and then it has the little tie in the front down here so that'll be really cute it is a button-up so depending on the weather she could wear a tank under it and leave it open um, if it's a little like a chilly and she just wants to put something on top she could use this as a layering piece also okay I don't know what it is about squishmallows but they are super popular it's, it's a stuffed animal is what it is even my oldest Paige who is 17 she's really the one who started it she collects squishmallows every time she's in a store she'll look and see which ones they have she has a ton in her room right now like it's crazy um, so I saw these and I went ahead and picked it up these ones are only at Target it says only at Target on here and they were $5.99 and I think I got them when either Squishmallows themselves were on like a circle deal where it was a little bit off or like the toy section was like if you spent this amount you got this amount back on a gift card so I definitely paid or got like money back so did not end up being $5.99 but $5.99 I think is a great price regardless so these are the laying original squishmallows and it says hug me's they are super super cute and soft and these ones are fuzzy so this is the one that I picked out for Pearl all right I got this little blind oh, I always forget what they're called five surprise toy mini brand series two they do have a couple of the food ones but i don't think they have any of the toy ones so when i saw this i was like yeah i'm gonna go ahead and grab one and just stick it in her easter basket so i did pick that up and then another i mean they are sort of like stuffed animals but they're more i don't know they're like little beanie figures but they really love these cat versus pickles and it's so funny because a couple years ago, this company actually sent me some and I shared them with, oh, I don't know if I shared them with you guys or if it was over when I was posting on my vlog channel, but the girls loved them. They just never, like when we saw them in the store, they wouldn't like gravitate towards them, but now they're like on the hunt for these and they are super hard to find. Like anytime I walk into a store, I will check and see if they have them and it's rare that I find them. So one day at Target did have some, so I just picked up, I'm hit, hitting myself, I should have picked up multiples but it is what it is um, I just picked up one so Pearl's getting one it is the it says ages four and up surprise plush toy you get one cat or a pickle but all the cats and even the pickle are like different so on the back here it's got like a waffle one and then it has like the tiger cat I mean they're all sorts you can you know collect a whole bunch of them so I did go ahead and pick that up she's gonna be super excited to see this because even like every time she comes into a store with me, she's got like money saved up so she can just go bonanzas and buy as many as she can. I think they run between four to six dollars. All right, they are um, still into like fidgety items. So this is a huge, big, squishy sphere. It says smush it, toss it, squeeze it, poke it, and knead it. I almost got one for myself. It feels really cool just to have here on my desk like while I'm working or something, you know, technology does frustrate me sometimes. Um, and this would be nice to just like whew, take some deep breaths and squish it. So I might have to pick me up one too. It's really, really cool. But I went ahead and got her the hot pink color. This is something just totally last minute that I picked up. It wasn't on my like radar to get for any of the kids for their Easter baskets, but I saw it and I was like, that's kind of cool. It's different. You know, nowadays you see the like LED lights everywhere that you can turn or change the color, which are really, really cool too. My kids like those, but you rarely see anything like black light anymore. So I thought this was fun. Uh, I'm just gonna try to stick it on the back of their TVs 
and if you guys have ever been around a black light you know it you know anytime any kind of white color or bright color it just makes it neon like your teeth shine your eyeballs pop it's really really fun when you turn the lights out so i thought that would be fun for her to have all right so pearl loves to paint my girls love a lot of different arts and craft things, even my oldest. So I picked up some fun things. Normally I get all my stuff from the Dollar Tree just because it's cheap and they go through it so fast, but I figured it was time to get them something a little extra. So this right here is a pack of paint brushes and I got both of these at Walmart and they are called mermaid paint brushes. So there's seven in here and the handles look like little mermaid tails. And then also, from Walmart, I got a, just a fun pack of paints. So it's just a four pack and these are like metallic. So there's a green, an aqua, a blue, and a purple in this set. Okay, I did pick up several things from the Dollar Tree for her. First up, I got this poppet, but it's an octopus. I don't think she has this style of poppet. So I went ahead and picked that up and again, you can see here, I tend to lean towards like hot pink colors for her. So I got that one. And then I thought this was fun. The girls love to take little play baths um, and take some of their like, toys, like their Barbie dolls and stuff into the bath. So I got her a bath bomb and this is Peeps. We're actually gonna do a, I've been collecting, like the flavors that they have in Peeps nowadays are ridiculous. So I may have gone a little overboard, but that's just what I do if you guys or not knowing you've been with me for a while, you know I am an overboard type of person. I just go crazy on some things. It's just fun for me um, and for the family. <laughs> so I've been collecting peeps and I have so many and the kids want to do a taste test. So that video will be coming shortly after this one. I'm thinking next week maybe we'll try to do it this weekend. I think I have enough. Like I need to just film it and even if I see more flavors, just no, too late, it's already done, you know? I have a bag full. But anyway, these this is a peeps bath bomb and marshmallow. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure it's marsh marshmallow and it says it has a hidden color inside. It shows the color blue. I don't know if that's what color it is, but they are color twist bath bombs. There's only one in here, but I did go ahead and pick that up again from the Dollar Tree. And then the girls have a couple friends at school that wear nails, like not with a sticky tape or anything like that with nail glue. So I'm gonna let the girls try it out and see like how it goes, how they treat them, if you know, when we take them off, if it just destroys their nails, you know, we'll wait a little longer. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and let them try it. And I thought these would just be fun for them to wear, not to school, I feel like that would be a distraction, um, but for like over summer break and stuff like that. But these are stiletto nails, which is a style that Paige enjoys. So I think Rose and Pearl will like having, you know, nails like their big sister, you know? So anyway, I saw these ones, it's got the fun cheetah print with the hot pink and the yellow. So I think she will get excited when she sees these. So they do have a lot of like random things in their bathroom, in their sink area. Pearl has a lot of jewelry they have some makeup um, you know they're gonna have nails and stuff like that so I did see these two little pouches for them to use they do you know like keep their own money in their rooms and stuff like this so there's lots of little things that they could use these pouches for but they're called cosmetic bags they're by sassy and chic from the Dollar Tree and these two just looked super super cute so this purple one has llamas all over it and this like peachy orange color has sloths all over it and I might, depending, you know, when I'm stuffing their bags, because as I'm putting everything down right here, the bag is already overflowing or the basket. So I might use these pouches to put things in just to save on space. So sticking with the beauty supplies, I did, they are very, very into facial masks right now as well. So I have picked these two exact ones up before for the girls, so they have used them. They didn't have any kind of reaction to them or anything. So I just went ahead and picked up one of each kind again for Pearl, so she has it. Um, in her little arsenal. So this one is a sprinkles face mask. It looks like a donut. And then this one is a mermaid face mask. It has the scales and the pretty blue and green colors on it. And then I did pick a headband up for her. Um, they go through phases where they like to do their hair a lot and then they just wear their hair plain down and nothing um, in it or anything like that. So I did just go ahead and pick this up. I thought it looked really pretty for the spring. I don't know if you can see the detail on here, but it does have a slight like metallic 
cheetah print or leopard print on there um, but I did really really like that for her back to stickers I did find this huge big puffy sticker so I went ahead and picked this up for her and it has a it's a donut there's only one sticker in there and you can see what it is like it shows different ones this is the only I don't know if they have like different types or styles of donuts at the Dollar Tree but this is the one that the only one that I found but she'll like that like I said they are really into stickers right now okay and then this right here I will well you guys will probably be able to see it better on here so this I picked up from jane.com um, it's also an app that you can have on your phone which is what I use and they have deals new deals daily but their deals also last there's like a timestamp on them maybe like a week or less something like that and then once they're sold out that's it they're gone so I check like every few few days I actually just placed a so not like huge but larger than average haul for me or order for me so I'm going to do like its own video because every time I get questions about certain things in the house and I say jane.com they're like I get um, people reaching out saying, what is that? You've mentioned it before. So I'm gonna do a separate video on jane.com, but I really, really like that app. It has a lot of cute items. Anyway, I found these little initial bracelets. I love, it looks like a candy bracelet, which is what my kids love, candy bracelets. This one is not edible, um, but I love that it looked like that and it has a P on here for her. So I thought that was super cute. All right, so I found these little white baskets or like 10 baskets at the Target dollar spot. It was a dollar and I thought possibly, again, we shall see, I will use this to like hold some of the smaller things in in the basket just to keep them together so nothing falls down below. So I did pick this up and if I don't use it in her Easter basket, I know I can use it at some other time. All right, I do have a few food items that are not like in a bigger bag that I am dividing up between them. So um, all of the kids, and I think I got the same exact four things for all of the kids. Uh, maybe Paige is, did not have this one, I think, because she's not huge into gum. But the kids, the younger three love the love gum. And this is the Below Pop Mini, so it's like a little sucker. Uh, there's candy outside and it has a gum middle, a gum center. So I did go ahead and pick this one up for her. And the bag is resealable, which is really, really cool. So she can, you know, eat on this for a couple days and then have some gum. So since we bought all those peeps, but we're doing a video on them, there's no peeps really for their Easter baskets. <laughs> so I found these giant ones. Are they called giant? No, it just says peeps, a marshmallow peep, but it's a big one and it's on a stick. So I thought that would be really cute to stick into the Easter basket. So more gum, these are so fun. I remember these as a kid. So they're, looks like little eggs in, a, in an egg carton. There's 12 in there, but it is bubble gum. So I did pick that up. I found all of these food items from Target. And then last but not least, my kids love cheese balls. They constantly ask me to buy the big bucket of cheese balls and it's rare that I cave and I say, okay, yes, let's bring it home. Um, but for most holidays, you can find the little cheese balls in little packages like this. So that's when I get them the cheese balls. So this is the Utz Poppables mini cheddar cheese balls. They did have these in the white cheddar as well, but um, the majority of my kids prefer the like plain yellow, the cheddar flavor. Okay, and then, so that's everything that's going in her basket besides the candy items. I'm gonna show you guys after I share with you what Rose is getting and then these candy items, all of the kids. I'm just gonna divide them up as evenly as I can. But for her basket, I did feel like I, because of the clothing alone, her basket is gonna be a little bit more full this year. So I do have these little basket bags that I might use to help keep everything contained and tie it up, you know? So I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. That It has two in here and I did pick four different ones up. So again, I know they have the tags on there, but the kids can see like the different prints as well. So this will last me two years. I'll get, be able to use one this year and then if I need the other one next year, I'm already set and I have it. All right, so that's everything that's going into Pearl's Easter basket. Let me set her basket up real quick and show you guys what it looks like. Oliver is very curious about what is going on right now. <laughs> but here is how Pearl's Easter basket came out. I did decide not to use the little like bag to put the Easter basket in. I'm just gonna have it set out like this and then have these three items because all the kids should have a couple extra items like bigger items and i'll just leave them out 
right next to their bag. So she's got her little tag right here. And then I've got everything in here. And then those extra little chocolatey food items I have in this little Easter basket. You guys actually have not seen the chocolate stuff yet, but you will after I share with you what Rose is getting. Okay, so on to Rose. This should be pretty quick because she has a lot of the same things. I did get her the same exact outfit. So she has the longer shorts with the hearts on them and then this t-shirt to go with it. This is Girl Power Squad with the little handheld controller for her phone. She's got the other pack of stickers. I'm actually going to open hers up because I did open up pearls to stick it in the basket. And these are super, super cute. They're a lot cuter than I thought. I think they're really going to love them. Like, and so many different ones. So what I did for pearls is I just picked the one that I thought she would like the best. And I use that as like the topper sticker sheet. So when she opens up the basket, she sees it. But there's so many in here. There's gonna be stickers all over my dang house, but at least the girls are gonna have a good time. Her little squishy ball I got in the bright green color. She has the same little toy mini brands ball, surprise ball. Okay, so I did get her some paint brushes and paint as well, but hers are a little bit different. So her paint brushes, it is the same seven piece set, but hers are unicorn, does it say horns? No, it just says unicorn paint brushes. So it's like an ombre pink on the handle and then it looks like a unicorn horn. And then her paint set, because they will share the paints, I got different. So hers are very, very glittery. It actually says glitterific icons on here. So there's one that has flowers and butterflies, stars and moons, blue stars, and then lavender hearts. Same black light LED strip set. And then I picked up two pouches for her as well. So this one says dreamer and it has a unicorn on it. And then this one has a sloth laying on a rainbow. Her other outfit, same exact jean shorts and same tie dye button up cuffed with a tie in the front top. I got her a dress as well. Hers is a little different. So hers is orange, but it does still have a necklace that comes with it. And let's see, this necklace is not a flower like pearls. It's just like a little gold plate and it has some beads on it. And then hers comes with two scrunchies as well. Same four foods, just a little different in the blow pop minis. I got her the yellow bag and I made sure to get them each different colored bags. That way they know because these are resealable when they put them in the pantry, they know whose bag is whose. I got her a cat versus pickle little blind bag as well. I hope they get two different ones. So she's getting a bath bomb. Hers is a little different. This one has a unicorn on it. It is cotton candy scented and it does say hidden color inside on this one as well and this was from the Dollar Tree. Her little giant puffy sticker is a rainbow. Same exact two face masks, the little sprinkle one and the mermaid one. I got her some stiletto nails as well and these ones have butterflies on them. She's getting the octopus little um, pop, I already forgot what it's called. Little pop toy and but hers is in the purple color. Same cheese balls, same gum, egg gum in the egg carton. I mean, these were like so popular when I was a kid. Same big peep on a little popsicle stick. I did get her a little white basket as well. I picked her up a headband. Sometimes I go back and forth just because I said it's every now and then she'll do her hair. Pearl definitely does her hair more than Rose, but every now and then she'll do it. Um, so I just like to have things on hand for her when those times, you know, come up, pop up. So I got her, she really loves tie dye and rainbow. So that's definitely her color scheme right now. So this one definitely had both of those sort of all in one. So I got that headband for her. And then I did get her a little bracelet as well. And of course, you know, her name is Rose. So her little initial has the R on there. And then last but not least, her little Squishmallow is a unicorn. I don't think I said what Pearls was, but Pearls was a sloth. Okay, that's everything that's going in roses minus the candy that I'm gonna share with you guys in just a second. But I'm gonna go ahead and put her Easter basket together and share with you how the final look comes out. Okay, this is how Rose's basket turned out. I should have left Pearl sitting out here so I could kind of see how I stuffed hers, but I think it's cool that they are going to 
look different and I did leave the bigger items out here. I thought about opening that and that, but I just, I don't know, I did open that for pearls and it just didn't, it was like just like this huge blob. So I want them to be able to see the packaging. So these are just gonna be sitting on the side when I put it out on the table Easter morning. Okay, now I'm gonna share with you guys the extra little goodies that I'm going to stick in there. And first up, just to, again, I like to hide some of the stuff so they can't see everything. I picked up this set of bags. I got this last year as well and it worked perfectly, but this is a pack of four, which I have four kids, so they'll each get one. It works out great and it just has a little bunny face on there. It does come with a little twine so you can tie it up. So I did go ahead and get that and that's what I'll put some of these little goodies in. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm going to show you guys everything that I picked up, but not all of this is going into their Easter baskets. I think I'm just gonna do like the chocolatey items, the things that would melt in their Easter baskets and the rest is going to go. My mom is hosting the Easter egg hunt where we're gonna get together. The kids are gonna do the little hunt and then we'll have some great food and family time. So I'm gonna save the stuff that won't melt to take over to her house and fill eggs and that way all the kids can go on an Easter egg hunt and they'll, they're will they still getting this candy though. So I figured I would still share it with you guys. All right, so first up, I did go ahead and pick up the Reese's Malo Top, the Reese's Peanut Butter. Um, Rose loves these things and we have not tried the ones with the Mallow Top yet. So I did go ahead and pick this up and I'll just open it up and divide it between the kids. And if anything is left over, that means Mark, my husband, and I get to treat ourselves with it as well. I'm gonna try to share with you guys the chocolatey items first. Okay, I don't know about this. So you guys comment down below if you think these would be safe to put in an Easter egg outside or not. It is gonna be, I'm just going to guess, like at least in the 80s on Easter. So it's gonna be pretty warm outside. And these are going, I mean, we always do the Easter egg hunt first, so they won't be sitting outside for too, too long, but long enough for if that sun is beating down, things are gonna melt. So let me know what you think about the marshmallows. If I should add them to the Easter baskets or if I should, you know, try my luck and stuff them in Easter eggs. But these are the stuffed puffs. So it's the Kraft marshmallows, but there's chocolate inside. The kids loved these last year, so I definitely picked them up, wanted to pick them up again. And there's different colors. I don't know if there's any more than two. I've heard other people say that they saw like green and blue, but this pack, I only see yellow and pink. I won't know until I open it up though. But anyway, I went ahead and grabbed those. Let me know what you guys would do. Save them for the Easter baskets because I'll have plenty of time to add them to the Easter baskets or save them for the Easter egg hunt. These caught my eye because again with Rose, like she definitely has her favorites. She likes the Cocoa Pebbles. And these are little Cocoa Pebble eggs. It says cereal and milk chocolate eggs. So I think she'll get a kick out of these. So I went ahead and picked that up. These are gonna go in their Easter basket. And then I think this is the last like chocolatey item that would melt and that is the Hershey Kisses. And I had to pick these up because I've never seen them with vanilla frosting on the inside before. I thought that was pretty neat and my kids would probably enjoy these. So I grabbed them. All right, so now for the items that are definitely going for the Easter egg hunt. I picked up the Tootsie Roll eggs. These are very, very popular. I've heard they are hard to, to find and that people are selling them online for like $30 a bag. That is ridiculous. Uh, I got these for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. So I picked up two just because there are gonna be several kids that are uh, partaking in the Easter egg hunt. They're super, they're super tiny little bags, but each one of them in here is individually wrapped, which works out great. Um, and you know, the base is like a chocolatey, but it's more like a taffy type of thing. So I feel like these would be fine in the sun for a little bit. So again, I picked up two bags for the Easter egg hunt. All right, I don't know if these are actually gonna fit. I might have to put these Tiger Pops in the kids' Easter baskets or just take them with me to my parents as like an extra bit of decor on the table or something, or let each of the kids take one, whatever, um, or just, get bigger eggs, I don't know. But because of the pops on here, um, I don't think they're gonna fit in your like traditional little egg that you can pick up for Easter egg hunt. Uh, but that is what I had in mind. There's 20 little tiger pops in here. Okay, again, several kids are gonna be doing this Easter egg hunt. So I did pick up three bags of the Peeps flavored 
jelly beans and on the back here it says marshmallow strawberry lemon and a blueberry i thought these were super cute i don't know if we've ever tried these either but we're just on a whole like peeps kick this easter apparently this is something else i don't think i've ever tried so i might have to like steal one for me um but these are cow tails which i haven't had one in years i just remember these as like maybe in my teenage years young adult maybe but aren't they like a caramel or chocolate these ones are strawberry cream so i thought that was interesting very springy so i did go ahead and pick this up and i actually yeah i got two bags again for the easter egg hunt all right and then last but not least more jelly beans jelly beans are definitely like super easy to stuff eggs with and they're kind of fun for the kids to shake around but these are fun fetty jelly beans um, another new item, I definitely went with things that were newer to surprise the kids with to try, but yeah, those sound really, really good. They are super cute too, if you can see here. So they are white jelly beans, but they have like com confetti print all over them. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. That's everything for Rose and Pearl and the Easter egg hunt. I, my mom will probably pick up some more stuff as well for the Easter egg hunt, but that is my contribution. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I hope it gave you guys some ideas. If you are still shopping, I definitely like to shop early and just be able to check it off my list and be done with it. Um, but. If you guys are not done, I hope this gave you some ideas. Definitely hit up your local Dollar Tree, Walmart, Target. Um, look online if you are a last minute shopper and Amazon is your jam. They have plenty of things for you. Don't forget to check back in tomorrow. That is when I'm going to be sharing what my son Bryce is getting and my oldest daughter Paige. So you guys get to see what is going in their Easter baskets tomorrow. All right, so with that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.